it's Nona and I'm here with another installment of my Dear Nona series. Um, I've got a letter I'm going to read um, from Tony tonight. Um, I received this letter on April 19th, 1996. Um, and if you are new to this, um, I have PTSD because my boyfriend committed suicide in 2010 and he had been incarcerated and in rehabs and different places for a, a lot of his life and so he wrote me a lot of letters and I kept every single letter that he wrote me and I'm going to be reading them in a continuous um, online YouTube journal for myself uh, as part of my healing process. and. If you guys want to watch, I'm going to take you along with me. But if not, these videos are, are just being made for myself. So, to me, it really doesn't matter if anyone watches. So, he sent me this little letter. And some little fish stationery. And I remember he told me his grandma had bought him this. And he thought it was girly. So, he only sent it to me. Um, not anyone else that he wrote. So, the letter says... Nona, what's up, babe? I will not be coming home this weekend because of the fucking teachers here. I'm sorry that I'm not coming. After a couple of passes, I will be able to stay overnight, and that will be great. I'm starting to hate it here, and I want to come home. You really need to call me, okay? Well, this is all I've got for now. P.S. Tell Lawanda and Jonathan to write me so I can have something to write them back. You know I love you, Tony Ripley. He was a very angry teenager. Very, very angry. If you couldn't tell from that letter. Um, but, that one wasn't a very good one. I, I can still remember, you know, when I would talk to him on the phone how much he hated being there. He was at a place that was in these letters that's called SOAR, Southwest Oklahoma Adolescent Rehabilitation Ranch. Um, it was like a drug and alcohol facility. It's closed down now, but um, anywho, he was 15 when he wrote that letter, and so... Yeah, I really didn't like that tone of that letter. It makes me feel feel his pain and his his struggle for being there, which was his own fault. I mean, he he did the wrong, and I think he knew that, and he was mad at himself, and I think he just was so hurt from everything that he took it out on you know, everything else in life, you know, anyways, I love him, and thank you all so much for watching, and if you like these types of videos, please like, comment, share, and subscribe, if you have a channel, I will subscribe back, love you all, talk to you later, bye.